my audience, who among us has not faced a roadblock at least once in their lifetime? The question is, will you let your roadblock define where your journey will end? Or will you maneuver through it and get back on track? The 29th of July, 2011, a Friday in the evening about 5 p.m. Nothing, nothing, nothing could have ever prepared me more for what was going to happen. I was in an accident and as a result, I had my right arm and fingers from my left arm amputated. I'm not here to brag about how easily I pick myself back up because that's a story for another day. I'm here to remind you that you shouldn't let anything come in between you and your dream. In all honesty, when I lost my arm, I thought my life as I knew it was over for many reasons. I needed help walking, using the bathroom, getting myself dressed, eating. Let me, let's just say, I needed help doing a lot of things we sometimes take for granted. I was fully dependent on my nurses and family. I didn't know a life beyond them. It's safe to say I pitied myself. And I'm sure most of us have gotten to the point where we feel like certain things should not have happened to us. And it's more often than not, we seem to ask ourselves, why me? Slowly, but surely, I got over feeling bad about myself, and that in itself is not easy. It felt like I was a baby again, only this time a much bigger baby. Three months later, it was November. I was able to get myself dressed with little help from my twin sister, and I could eat without being spoon-fed, even if it always ended up in me making a mess. Sorry, Mom. There's dozens of things I can do which can leave your mind boggled, like how just this year I started painting my own nails. Despite everything that happened to me, I didn't let my disability get the best of me. And just when I thought things could not have gotten any worse, they did. With great difference comes an even greater amount of bullying, the first school I had been to, I was bullied for something I had no control over. To the students in this auditorium, even the parents and teachers, how many of you know someone who has been bullied or even you yourself have been bullied? It's needless to say, it's a horrible feeling. For the second time, I let my roadblock define where my journey will end. But thankfully, I have the most amazing support system, which range from my doctors, my teachers, the best of friends, and what's most important, my family. They helped me get back on my feet and dust myself off. Three years ago, I believed I was down and out. In my tunnel of life, there really was no light at the end of it. I still believed I'd still be the same naive girl I was and think my arm would magically grow back. What I'm getting at is just when you think you're doing okay, life will drop a bomb on you. And I really wish I could stand here and tell you you've just got to pay a few million dollars to get rid of any life's challenges, but there really isn't anything like that. Though, if there was, I'm pretty sure I'd be the first to buy it. That's if it's on sale. There are some things, however, you can do when you face your challenges. Expect challenges big and small. Don't be the person who will always be saying, why me? Because then again, why not? You aren't facing these challenges because you did something bad or you've got to pay for the sins of your parents. No, you are facing these challenges because you are strong enough to take it. So, the next time your challenge knocks at your door, open it. Nothing comes easy. 
You've got to keep on working at whatever you want till you get it. And unless you want it as bad as you breathe, there really isn't anything that can stop you from getting it. I'd like you to go back to the 31st of December, New Year's Eve last year, and think of the resolutions you made for this year. By the show of hands, how many of you have completed at least one or even two of your resolutions? Now, how many of you are already planning next year's resolutions? All I've got to say is, if you really wanted to start living a more healthier lifestyle, become more proactive, you would have started yesterday. Procrastination is the thief of time. Ladies and gentlemen, you are your biggest opponent. So don't be afraid to fail. Your success won't be built in one day, and because Rome wasn't built in one day either. I leave you with a quote by Will Smith. Don't let anyone ever tell you you can't do something. If you have a dream, you've got to protect it. If you want something, go get it. That is the golden rule. I turn my tragedy into triumph. Imagine a world where we wouldn't let anything come in between our goals. These people didn't let anything come in between theirs. So what is stopping you?